are we going? That's not a place, aha. Why won't you tell me? Why is everything so secret? You will know soon enough all you need to know. You are, you're not. For all I know, you could be kidnapping me. Nonsense. Nearly there. Look out. Here, please. Oh, no. Only one thing in the whole sky, and you have to go straight at it. <laughs> It's a long way down. Where are we? Paul, is that you? Oh, you, sis. I can't see a thing. Can't you? Look around. Who are they? What are they? Mr. Glimfeather? Mr. Glimfeather? to you too? Of course we're ours. And this, my dear humans, is a special emergency meeting of the great Parliament of Owls. Just a moment. There's something I want to say first. Well, time in our world is different. And though King Caspian the Tenth is an old man, and I'm only a boy, he and I sailed together right to the eastern end of the world. That legendary voyage uh, with Lord Trinian. And Reaper Cheap, and all of them. And you better know right away, I am loyal to Caspian. I am the king's man. And if this is a meeting to plot against him, I'll have none of it. <laughs> Bravely spoken, human boy. But in fact, we're here to talk about you two. What about us? It's simply that if the Lord Regent, Trunkin the Dwarf, hears you mean to look for the Lost Prince, he'll put you under lock and key. You mean Trumpkin's a traitor? Caspian always said he trusted him. Oh, no, Trumpkin's no traitor. But over the years, many of our champions have set out to look for the Lost Prince, and not one has ever come back. So the King has decreed not to have all his bravest Narnians destroyed, in the search for his lost son. So now, nobody is allowed to go. But surely he'd let me go, once he knew who I was and who sent you. Who sent both of us. Ah, yes. The Parliament should know that these young humans were sent on this noble mission by the great Aslan himself. But the King's away on his last voyage, and Trump Kim will stick to the rules. He doesn't even take any notice of us. And everyone knows how wise we owls are. <laughs> But if we have to wait to persuade the king, how long is he going to be away? If only we knew. There is a rumour that Aslan has been seen in the islands. And the king wants to make one more attempt before he dies to see Aslan face to face. To ask his advice on who is to be king after him, now that he has lost his son. But if he goes searching for Aslan, surely... Exactly! There's no telling when he'll be back. But tell us about the lost prince. I think that had best come from our friend here. Who remembers all? A natural born storyteller he is. He can plant the best pictures in your mind. Close your eyes. Some years ago, when Rillian, son of Caspian, was a young knight, he rode out with the queen, his mother, on a beautiful May morning. They took no hounds with them, for they were not hunting, but maying. In the warm part of the day, they decided to rest in a pleasant glade. No one there knew of the terrible consequences that were to befall them. Some more wine, Marlon. Indeed, sir. Time Prince Rillian had reached his mother, one glance told him no physic in the world would do her good. The Queen 
queen was mourned by all, and Prince Rillian took his mother's death very hard. You must stop riding out to seek that evil serpent. It is too dangerous a thing, sire, to do alone. A serpent? My good friend Drinian, I have not thought of the creature these seven days. Why go you to the woods, sire? Because I've seen there the most beautiful thing that was ever made. Prince, let me ride out with you tomorrow. And I too may see what this fair thing is. But my lord, why come so often to this of all places? You will see. and you frighten the lady away! Let us go, my lord, from this accursed place. Accursed no longer to me. Then came the fateful day when Prince Rillian returned again to that accursed glade. Trace of Rillian was ever found. Neither hat, nor cloak, nor anything else. Rillian, you have searched for the prince for days. I fear I may never see my son again. Oh, my Lord King, slay me speedily as a great traitor. For by my silence, I have destroyed your son. gone to the place of the Queen's destruction and has himself disappeared. I have lost my Queen and my son. Should I lose my friend too? And the old King has lived in sadness ever since, for no one has ever discovered what happened to the young Prince. The serpent and that woman were one and the same. But we don't think she killed the prince, for no bones were ever found. We know she didn't. Aslan himself told me the prince is still alive. But that almost makes it worse. For it means the evil woman must have some use for him, and surely some deep scheme against Narnia. Long, long ago, a white witch came out to the north and bound over our lands in snow and ice for a hundred years. This could be some of the same crew. Oh. And Paul and I have got to find the prince. Can you help us? Any clue, you two? We have to go north until we reach the ruins of a giant city. Well, can you help? Oh, oh, the, oh dear, city of giants. Oh, very, very sorry and all that. Uh, that's it all. Uh, difficult, you know, flying north, uh, city of giants. Oh, You'd want to travel by day and we'd want to travel by night. It wouldn't do. Oh, it wouldn't no, do. wouldn't do. Well, how do we start? Oh, well, uh, if they must go that way, then at least we can take them as far as the mouse wiggles. Uh, they're the ones. They know the Northlands best. They're the only ones, the only ones who can help. Oh, come on, then. I'll take one. Oh, well, 
As long as it's only as far as the mast wiggles, I'll take the other. Here, young human, don't rock the boat. They gave me the sword at Care Paravel, and I don't intend to travel without it. Scrub, you idiot, you'll fall off. Oh, no, I won't. I'm back in Narnia, and the air here. I've forgotten how good it is. I feel stronger every minute. Hold on, big ass, down we go. <laughs> What a miserable place. Puddle Glum, Puddle Glum, my dear, wake up. Puddle Glum, we are here on the lion's business. We come in the service of Aslan to you, to you, to you, to you. Owls ahoy! What happened? Is the king dead? Has an enemy landed in Narnia? I know. It's a flood. Or maybe dragons. It's nothing of the sort. Come on here! <laughs> to offer you. You're like cold and hard. Damp too, I shouldn't wonder. Won't sleep a wink, most likely, even if there isn't a thunderstorm or a flood or the wigwam doesn't fall down on top of us all. Mm, ah, well. Just have to make the best of it. Scrub. Funny place. At least it's dry and warm. It's a wigwam. Like Red Indians live in. Who was he anyway? That chap last night. I didn't much like his hand. It looked like a frog's. I feel awful after sleeping in my clothes. I was just thinking how nice it was not to have to get dressed. Or wash, I suppose. <laughs> Listen to the birds. I wonder where the thingamy's got to. The marsh wiggle. Hello. That must be him over there. I suppose we'd better go and speak to him. Yes. I say good, but it'll probably turn to rain, or maybe snow, or fog, or thunder. I dare say you didn't get any sleep. But we did. We had a very restful night. Ah, I see you're trying to make the best of a bad job. We had a very restful night. Excuse me, but we didn't quite catch your name. My name is Puddle Glum. You're sure to forget it. I was just trying to catch a few eels to make an eel stew, though I suppose I won't get any and you wouldn't like it if I do. Why not? Boy, it's against reason that you should like our victuals. All the same, if you two could try to light the fire, no harm in trying. Though, of course, the wood will be wet. Where shall we light it? Hmm? Where shall we light it? Ah. 
You could light it in the wigwam, but then we'd all get smoke in our eyes. Or you could light it outside, and then the rain would come down and, and put it out. There's my tinderbox, except you won't know how to use it. <laughs> You see, you did catch some eels. A dozen of them, in fact. Oh, yes, but they'd be very tough, you'll see. I think you should tell me your plans. All we want to know is can you really help us to find Prince Rillian? Well, I don't know if you'd call it help. We're not likely to get very far on a journey up north, not at this time of the year with winter coming on. But don't let that worry you. What, with enemies and mountains and rivers to cross and losing our way and almost nothing to eat and sore feet, we'll hardly notice the weather. We? Are you coming with us? Of course. I don't expect I'll ever see the king back in Narnia now that he set off for foreign parts. And he had a nasty cough when he left and Trumpkin's old and failing fast and we'll have a bad harvest after this dry, dry summer and... I shouldn't wonder if some enemy attacked the country, so all in all... You may as well come with us. Mm. But where shall we start? We've got to start by finding the ruined city of the giants. Aslan said so. Got to start by finding it, have we? Yes. Aren't we allowed to start by looking for it? <sighs> That's what I meant, of course. And then when we found it, we can... Ah, yes. When? <sighs> Isn't the stew ready yet? Ready it might be. But you're not going to like it. Delicious! It's the best stew I've ever tasted in my life. Yes, well, it might taste all right, but beware of collywobbles in the tummy. Food for wiggles is poison for humans. Where were we? Doesn't anybody know where the ruined city is? I don't know about anybody, but if I were looking for the ruined city, I wouldn't start from here. Where would you start from? Ettingsmoor. But can't we get to Ettingsmoor from here? Yes, of course. See those hills and that bit of a cliff over there where the dragon's flying, bound to meet some of those brutes? Well, those hills are the beginnings of Ettingsmoor, but there's a river between it and us. No bridges, of course. Perhaps on Ettingsmoor we shall meet people who can tell us the way. Meet people? Oh, yes, you're right about that. What sort of people live there? Oh, I suppose they're all right in their own way. Yes, but what kind of people live there? Kind is one thing they're not. You'll see. Now, look here! I don't believe the whole thing could be half as bad as you're making out. Just as the beds in the wigwam were hard, or the firewood was wet. I don't think Aslan would ever have sent us here if there was as little chance as all that. That's it, boy! Put a brave face on it. All we have to worry about is our tempers. And all our hard times we're going to have to go through together won't do to lose our tempers, you know. Otherwise, we'll finish up knifing each other. I shouldn't wonder. Well, if you think it's as useless as all that, you can stay behind. Paul and I will go alone. Don't be such an idiot, scrub. No, no. I'm coming. Sure and certain. I'm not going to lose an opportunity like this. It'll do me good. You see, the other marsh wiggles think I'm too flighty. Flighty? I don't take life seriously enough. They think I'm too full of bobbins and bounce. Life's not all eel pie and fricasseed frogs, they say. I need something to, to, to sober me down. So a job like this, a journey up north, looking for a prince who probably won't be there by way of a ruined city that nobody's ever seen. Just a thing. If that doesn't steady a chap, what will? I shouldn't eat any more of that if I were you. Poison for humans. I won't have any more, thank you, Puggleglum. Not because I think it will do me any harm, but because I've had enough already. And I really couldn't eat another thing. Right, let's get ready. We need bacon, what's left of the stew, not much, I'm afraid, and biscuits. Weapons? You have a sword, I have a sword, and you and I, boy, will have a bow and arrows. Pole can carry a knife. I don't see why I shouldn't have a bow and arrows, too. 
What's the matter? You have a knife. I don't want a knife. I want a bow and arrow. No, stop complaining. You have a knife. I'm not complaining. I want a bow and arrow. Look, arrows. there's only two bows and arrows. There's and no I... difference between you and ah, me. Ah, quarrelling already? That's what happens on adventures. Right. Let's get packed. And then we're off. <laughs> No, the giants live up there. Giants! I thought the owls would have told you. Cheer up, Hope. Some giants in Narnia are friendly. Are these at peace or at war? At peace, officially. But they were badly beaten in several savage battles, and now they have to pay tribute. Makes them rather irritable. I don't like the sound of irritable giants. Oh, come on. Maybe if we keep very quiet, it'll go away. No, no! Two about dragons. Yes, but you don't know everything. But now we can move on in peace. When we heard about the ruined city, I think we imagined that the giants were dead. Oh no, no, that's a long way ahead. The giants of Ettingsmoor are a different race, and very much alive. We seem to be getting closer to that gorge. Yes, we are. I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> Funny rocks. Hmm? If you came along here when it was half dark. You might really believe those piles of rocks were giants. No, no. Look! There! You could almost believe that thing on top is a head. And those things sticking out on either side could be ears. Stop! Keep looking! Keep straight ahead! Don't look at them! Do not look at them! <laughs> 
Whatever you do, don't run. We've seen us! One of those rocks hits us. Oh, it's flattened! Oh, we 